Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to help you set up Fiddler Everywhere on your Windows machine. But before getting started, if you're wondering what Fiddler Everywhere is, this is a neat little network debugging proxy tool loved by millions of developers worldwide. Fiddler Everywhere is used to inspect, debug, mock, and even share network requests and responses on any device which supports a proxy. So every request you make when you open a web page in any browser, be it on your desktop or mobile, Fiddler Everywhere can capture it, inspect it, and even modify it for you. And the best part is that it works with all web browsers, desktop apps, processes, and platforms. So if you have still not downloaded Fiddler Everywhere, head over to the Fiddler Everywhere page on Telerik.com and download it now. Fiddler Everywhere is now available on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So now that you have an overview of what Fiddler Everywhere is, let's deep dive into getting started with Fiddler Everywhere. Once you open Fiddler Everywhere on your Windows machine, the first thing you will notice is the account screen. If you're a first time Fiddler Everywhere user, you might have to create a new account by providing your name, email address, and the username. If you're an existing user and have already signed up for Fiddler Everywhere before, you can just click on the sign in tab and provide the user ID and password to log in. Alternatively, you can use the Google authentication to sign in. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. All right, it looks like Google has authenticated us and we are in Fiddler Everywhere. The first thing that you'll notice is the welcome screen. Let's close that for now and look at it later. The moment you open Fiddler Everywhere, you will notice an error mark on protocol. Once we highlight, you see we are not capturing HTTPS traffic. This is because by default, Fiddler Everywhere does not capture HTTPS traffic. To enable this, you need to take two steps. The first is go to the gear icon at the top right corner and open the settings menu. You need to install the Fiddler root certificate on your machine. And to do that, all you need to do is just click this button and Fiddler would do the rest. After that, you need to click the checkbox next to the capture HTTPS traffic and save and close. The other thing that you need to do is enable the decode option for the HTTPS traffic. This is right below the live traffic tab. Now that we have done both, Fiddler Everywhere is ready to capture and inspect traffic from your Windows machine. We are going to debug the progress website. Let's enter the progress URL and see the response that comes in Fiddler Everywhere. There you go. The moment we enter progress URL in the web browser, you see the session in the Fiddler Everywhere live traffic tab. On clicking, you will notice the headers and of the request and response open up in the inspector tab to the right. The request headers have some of the information which was passed on to the server, whereas the response headers have the information which was relayed back to the system. Now, if you want to see the response, you can head over to the text tab under response and you will see the entire HTML text. Similarly, if you find this a little too daunting and you just want to visualize this entire HTML, you can just go to the web tab and the entire website would appear as it would in the browser. So that's how we set up Fiddler Everywhere on your Windows machine. I hope this was fun.